Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my go-to summer foundation routine for oily skin. These are products that have continuously helped me out when I am hot. It is like 90 plus degrees every single day here in Colorado, I'm not about it. My swelling is not about it. Yeah, I'll get to that later in the video, but these are the products that have held up even though I have been in the swimming pool, I've been outside doing walks. Every time I wear this combination of makeup, it just goes together seamlessly, looks really good, and lasts a very long time, even in the summer heat and I still have oily skin. So um, if you enjoy these types of videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up to let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content and wanna stick around. As always, I will have the products that I use today listed down in the description if you are curious. But the first product I'm gonna go in with is the Supergroup Unseen Sunscreen. I have a brand new one here just to show you guys what the product actually looks like without it being rubbed off because I've used this one so much. So that is what the brand new packaging looks like. This is what the janky one looks like. I've had this one for probably a year now, so I've and I haven't even gone through all of it. I'm getting very, very close, so I repurchased another one. This is my absolute favorite sunscreen to wear. This is SPF 40 in it. It is water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes. I'm just not going to reapply my sunscreen throughout the day when I have a full face of makeup on. I'm just gonna put it on before I apply my makeup and call it good. This sunscreen is oil-free, it's colorless, scentless, weightless, and it gives a soft, velvety finish. So I love using this for my everyday sunscreen. Please be sure to wear sunscreen. I am especially kind of like mindful of it currently just because, you know, when you're pregnant, you get more discoloration and stuff in your skin than you normally would. And you're more sensitive to the sun. So like you'll get sunspots easier. So before I go in with any other product, I always go in with the sunscreen. It is a more expensive sunscreen, but you can get it at Sephora. Like I said, it's lasted me a really, really long time. And I noticed that it doesn't feel like a regular sunscreen. It doesn't feel oily or heavy or have a strong scent. Like it's just really, really good if you are not a fan of sunscreens, but still wanna try and find something that'll work for you. This is the reason why I wear sunscreen every day. Cause if I didn't find this, I probably wouldn't cause I hate, I hate sunscreen. <laughs> After I go in with my sunscreen, I go in with a additional primer. The foundation I'm gonna go in with today, it's more of a natural finish, so I want something mattifying underneath to help kind of balance that out. Like I said, I've been going to the pool a lot lately because it's the only thing that helps with my swelling. Like I am just hardcore swelling. I have carpal tunnel in my hands. <laughs> like third trimester, Kate is just gone downhill so fast and clearly, You've probably seen it, it reflecting in the fact that I haven't been posting as many videos. <laughs> but like I wake up and I have carpal tunnel, so my fingers get really tingly, I can't feel them. And then I also have joint pain, so I can't like put my hands past here. I can't make a full fist. My doctor says it'll go away after pregnancy. I'm really hoping for that because I'm getting tired of not being able to hold a pen. <laughs> that was kind of a sidetrack. So anyway, I've been going to the pool a lot to be able to help my swelling and it has helped so much. It just feels amazing. I'm not a pool person. I hate the pool. I hate being in the sun. Like I just am not a fan of the heat and all that comes with it. Again, I hate sunscreen. I hate it all. <laughs> I have been going to the pool kind of for like an hour-ish throughout the day, not wanting to take all of my makeup off that I already had on previously. So this is kind of the makeup routine that I use that has worked and lasted even by going to the pool. Now, if I'm going to go to the pool for the whole day, I'm not going to put a full face of makeup on, but because I'm just stopping over, jumping in, not getting my face or my hair wet, well, I try. Kids, kids splash apparently. So I'm going to have to get used to that, but I'm not a fan of getting my face wet or my hair wet in the pool. And so that's why I feel comfortable, you know, being able to, to jump in, spend an hour, come home. And I always feel a little bit better afterwards. So for primer, I'm going to take the XX Revolution Quick Fix instant retouch primer. This is a mattifying primer. It reduces shine, smooth skin, and holds makeup in place. It has witch hazel and pink clay in it. This has just been like the go-to mattifying primer for me. So it looks like this. And I just kind of take it, put it mostly in my T-zone. Again, because I am going in with a foundation that's not mattifying. 
I want something underneath to really be able to help keep me a little bit more matte. I'm kind of learning that it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to put on a super matte foundation when I'm going to be going outside in the sun and I'm going to get oily anyway. I have since switched over to just using natural finish foundations for the summertime. I have two different foundation options for you. So both are really, really good. The L'Oreal Freshwear, I've probably worn more throughout this summer than this one. This is the L'Oreal Skin Paradise, but I think what I'm going to do is do half my face, like use this on one side, use this on the other side of my face, just to be able to show you guys what the difference in finish looks like. I highly recommend either of these. They are so freaking good. Even if you have oily skin, like the Skin Paradise is a water infused tinted moisturizer. This isn't even a foundation. Even this, it says it's a foundation and to me it feels like a lightweight moisturizer just because it's so comfortable on the skin. Very, very lightweight, very thin consistency. It's watery and both have SPF in them. So the L'Oreal Skin Paradise has SPF 19 and the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear has SPF 25. So I highly recommend either of these if you have one. These are kind of my go-to foundations for this time of year and they last really well in the pool. I will say that when I was in the pool yesterday, I got a bug on my face. <laughs> Part of the reason I hate the pool. But my mom actually like went up and swiped my face to get the bug off. And when she did that, I had this foundation on and the foundation was still there, didn't even move when she like wiped my face. I was clearly oily. I expected to have a huge like strip missing from my face and it was still looking totally fine. Now I'm gonna take my beauty blender to apply this. It gives me the most natural looking finish, most lightweight. Both of these foundations have a similar consistency, have a similar finish, so I feel comfortable doing, you know, one on one side and one on the other. I don't take very much of this because I don't want a ton of coverage. I just want something to kind of even out my skin. All right, so this is what the fresh wear looks like. This is just the best foundation ever. Like literally, I think it might be my favorite foundation of my entire life. Nothing has beat it, minus the It Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better foundation and skincare. That comes really close. But this is just really good and you cannot beat the price. It gives a really nice, soft, natural looking finish to the skin. It's just beautiful. So now I'm gonna go in with the Skin Paradise Tinted Moisturizer. This one is a little bit thicker than the Freshwear. This goes on a little bit more dewy than the Freshwear does. But once they're both set down with powder, they really look very similar. You can get a little bit lighter coverage with the Skin Paradise also, just by using a little bit less. Here's the Fresh Wear side. And then here is the Skin Paradise side. So definitely goes on just a tiny bit more dewy, but still gives a very similar coverage. I don't want to cover all of my skin. Like I definitely want my skin to poke through. That is what makes this look significantly more natural looking and doable to wear at the pool. For concealer, I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape. The only reason I'm using this is because it does the best job out of any concealer that I own in not sinking into my lines. For powder, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect because this is a more mattifying powder. Again, kind of sealing in both foundations, the fact they're more natural of a finish. I'm pairing it with a mattifying primer and a mattifying powder. Now I will show you what my skin looks like at the very end of the day after I have gone in the pool just so you get an idea of how it looks at the end of the day. It's not going to look this matte, but setting it up this way makes it so that it will last throughout the day and not look super, super oily. And as you wear both of these foundations throughout the day, it is going to, like my, my oil just naturally soaks through a little bit. All right, and then for my eyeshadow base, I like to just go in with whatever concealer I'm using. I don't really see a point in using actual eyeshadow primer. 
when it's heart shape tape literally does the same thing. <laughs> okay, so this is what my base looks like. It is just, it, it doesn't fail me. <laughs> this is just a really solid primer foundation powder combination for me. So then I'm going to finish it up with some bronzer, blush, and highlight, and that's gonna be kind of my base that I really like to do. For bronzer, I'm gonna take the Maybelline City Bronzer. This has been really, really great for giving a little bit of life to the skin, but it's not too harsh of a bronzer. It really is a very soft kind of bronzer. If you are a beginner in makeup, this would be really good because it blends out really easily. I have mine in the shade 100, and if you have a fair skin tone similar to me, this would work really well on you. All right, so that's kind of the level that I put it at. Then I take a big fluffy brush, and I take this, put it into my crease. For this look, I am not going for an eyeshadow type look. I don't want eyeshadow really, I just want something to kind of give my eyes a little bit of depth. For blush, I'm just gonna take this one from NARS. It's the Orgasm blush. It came in this little duo. This blush has a little bit of shimmer in it, so it just makes your cheeks look a little bit more lively. Then for highlight, I've been loving this Rev Makeup Revolution Highlighter Reloaded in the shade Just My Type. It's so pretty and not too pink, not too champagne, not too gold. Um, it's kind of this combination of all of those colors. I just take a little, put it on my cheekbone, bring it up kind of over my brow a little bit, add a little bit to my nose, and my cupid's bow. If you're just curious about my foundation base that I do, then feel free to stop watching here if you want to continue to see how I put together the rest of my full face for like a pool day for a hot summer day. Keep watching because I do have some other products in here that I would definitely recommend. So for brows, I'm gonna take my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Ash Brown. This has quickly become my favorite brow pencil. It's just the best. It's not too waxy, it's not too dry. It's just kind of like the perfect amount of pigment. And it also stays on my brows really well throughout a hot day. You can also use a tinted brow gel if that is better for you. The one I really like is the Milk Makeup Kush Brow. I have mine in the shade Herb. So if you like that, if you like the look of more like bushy boy brows, maybe use that instead. I don't mind using a pencil because I find that it's pretty much the same amount of time that I would spend using a brow gel. Then I make sure to go back in on the front parts of my brow and just kind of comb through them, make them look a little bit more natural in the front. Then if you want to set down your brows, you definitely don't have to, because I feel like you know when you're going with a look like this, it's okay if things don't look 100% like cut, put together. They're just a little bit more natural. But I like to run the Milk Makeup Clear Kush Brow Gel through them. Then for my eyes, if I'm going to do anything with my eyes, it's either just going to be some mascara, or I've been really enjoying this Physicians Formula Eye Booster. This is the waterproof one. Now, I know when I say waterproof, a lot of you are probably like, Ugh, you know, thinking about how to take it off. It doesn't, it's not a pain to take off. It really, it comes off just very similar to the regular eye booster. It doesn't like leave a line and it's like really, really hard to get off, which I really enjoy. So what I do is I just take a very, very thin line of this. And just generally, whether I'm going to the pool or whether I'm just, you know, going on a walk or whatever, just a regular summer day, I take this, which has been kind of my go-to eye look. I just draw a very thin line on my top lid. Kind of like that. It's not anything super dramatic. It's just to kind of line and give my eyelashes a little bit more volume. And this dries down really, really fast. It also stays on if you are going to the pool or something where you're worried about, you know, water getting on your eyes. You can also go in with a waterproof mascara. I'm not going to, just because I try real hard to not get my face wet. Like if someone jumps in the pool, I'm like shielding myself. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead, use my CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. 
just add as much mascara as you want. I don't really put tons and tons of mascara on, but I do like to give it, you know, maybe one and a half or two coats. And then I take a little bit of mascara, go on my bottom lashes, but very lightly. I'm not really trying to kind of build them up. I just want a little bit of definition. And if I want to, if I really want kind of like a more glowy look, I'm gonna take my highlighter that I went in with on a really tiny little brush. Just add this to the corner of my eyes. It brightens it up a little bit. And then the last thing that I do, you don't have to do this, but I like to add a little bit of something moisturizing onto my lips. So I have a couple options for you. I have Aquaphor, which is just literally a lip balm. I have the Sugar Rose Fresh Balm, which has a little bit of color to it. So it's gonna add a little bit of pink rosiness to your lips. Or you can go in with like an actual lip product, which is the Rare Beauty Lip Balm in the shade Nearly Neutral. I think for today I'm gonna go in with the Sugar Lip Balm just because this has SPF 15 in it. So it just adds a little bit of, you know, protection for your lips. And it's a little bit more comfortable if you're gonna be wearing it throughout the day than if you went in with like an actual lip product. All right, you guys, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. This is just what makes me feel the prettiest, I think looks the nicest throughout the day, especially if it is a very hot day. And, you know, also lasts if you get in the pool. So I really enjoy this look. I feel like it just adds enough you know, to look like you have a little bit of makeup on, but still very natural. And again, I will insert a clip here of what my face looks like at the very end of the day after getting in the pool, just so you can see kind of how it progresses on someone who has oily skin. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support, hanging out with me and sticking through, even though I've been a little bit off in my, you know, uploading schedule. It's just, I'm trying my best. And I think that's just kind of the... The mindset I'm gonna have to have, especially when a baby boy comes, is just try my best, get my videos up, you know, as much as I can. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead, wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.